Maximilian Cash is an aging trust fund hipster, and Super Plastic has that figure from Pete Fowler. This is my first Pete Fowler piece. And it is the Gothic Sunset version that I picked up from I Am Retro when they were running some pretty deep sales. So it was a great time to grab it. Let's go ahead and crack this one open. It's taped on both sides, so you definitely know if it's been opened or not. I always enjoy how they use the stickers to designate which colorway it is. Prophecy states that touching the hem of Max Cash's parka will bestow good fortune and forever clean sneakers. Cool. <laughs> I even have a little bio for him. Age 67, LA, lives in LA, Osaka, Vancouver, Maui, London, Ibiza, Jura. Yeah. Sounds like someone I wouldn't normally be a friend of. But I think the figure is really cool. Interesting packaging. They include a janky sticker which is pretty slick. Stick janky somewhere interesting, post it on Instagram, tag it, get featured. Huh. Super Plastic just finished their Kickstarter and then had something like a, what was it, a, a 20 million funding bestowed upon them. So they're doing quite well right now. Take Max out and his ever essential speaker suitcase. Super, super old. Not supreme, super old. So he'll hang on to that in a second. And they use these little clear pieces to keep them from getting scuffed up, which is quite nice. There he is! Mr. Max Cash himself. Let's go ahead and pop in his little suitcase. There we go. Now he's ready to rave on. It's kind of a darker colorway, which I dug. The hat is totally bizarre. The jacket's pretty cool. It's a pretty good sized figure, and it's got some weight to it. And of course, the really interesting thing of why his head moves is it comes off to reveal this, his translucent skull head. You can carry that around too. That is really cool. Case just wobbling around. This reminds me of a friend I have. Yeah, that is uh, Max Cash, the Gothic colorway. Let's go ahead and give him a spin. Thanks for watching.